Good afternoon, everybody. Earlier today, I got two phone calls from supposedly an agent representing the Canada Revenue Agency. And of course, he was basically threatening my wife with an arrest warrant if we uh, did not uh, resolve uh, matters regarding past income tax returns. So apparently after my wife called the police and I did some online research, we both discovered that this is indeed uh, basically a telephone um, extortion scam. The phone number comes from the Ottawa Kingston area of Canada, uh, which would be kind of typical because the Canada Rev Revenue Agency is headquartered in uh, Ottawa, or what most people would think it would be in Ottawa. I think it's Ottawa, I'm not 100% sure, but that's besides the point. Now, I'm going to call this guy back, and I'm going to string him along a bit, and then I'm going to get him with what I like to call an official jerky boy prank, baby. I'm going to nail this guy's ass to the wall with this one. And you'll see just exactly how I'm going to do it. So right now, I've got his phone number, and I'm going to call this guy, and I'm going to give him a taste of his own, own bloody medicine. And as you can see, I'm all decked out in my typical jerky boy style kind of outfit. So I can basically give this guy a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> of course, I'll be putting the cordless phone on speaker, so uh, hopefully the uh, microphone here on the video camera will pick it up without any problems. This little bugger here is my weapon of choice. Air horn. As soon as I got them all, all the strung along as much as I can, I'm going to let this thing rip right into the mouthpiece of the phone. And I hope the little bugger gets so startled he falls out of that, that office chair of his in that tiny little cubicle that he sits in. Give that sniveling little bastard a taste of his own medicine. Yes, I'm calling because there was um, a message of some rather urgency that was left on my uh, phone earlier today, and I was calling to see what that was all about. Uh, who am I talking to, sir? You are talking to Brian Vincent. Mr. Brian Vincent. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, yesterday I have, uh, had word with your wife, uh, wife Miss Barbara, right? Uh, yes. So you are returning me a call on today? Uh, yeah, because, um... Sorry? Sir, uh, I, I told her that you need to wait for Jack message, but she told me that you are uh, not available. So you are just came from, um, she told me that you are out of town. Um, uh, you must have, uh, interpreted that by accident, uh, because I was actually outside. Uh, doing some uh, doing some lawn maintenance work. I didn't exactly go out of town, but I was uh, outside in my yard doing uh, weed and lawn maintenance to the, the to the yard. And then I and then I and then when I came inside, I uh, I noticed that there was uh, that, that you had um, you had uh, called, and that's why I was returning the message. And I was wondering uh, what what was this what was this into in regards to again, sir? Uh, Mr. Brand, this is about your personal income tax. My name is Officer Miller. Uh, Officer yes, Miller. Yes, sir. Ronnie Miller. I have provided all the information to your wife. I believe uh, she has worked with you, and she has provided all the information to you. Is that correct? I, uh, I, I, yeah, yes, yes. I was, I was speaking to the, uh, the missus in regards to this, and uh, but I just, I just want to know, like, uh, like, what, what, what is, what is going on here again? Because, because like, I'm just, I'm just at a loss. 
Mr. Vincent, actually, the thing is that this is about your personal income tax. Um, uh, who's, who's, who's personal income tax? My wife's or mine? Or both? Sir, it is your personal income tax uh, file. Okay, so you were uh, basically getting a hold of the missus and you're also trying to get a hold of me in regards to my income tax too. So are you saying that there's issues with my income tax returns? So, actually the thing is that the income tax file, uh, uh, let me check first of all your records. And do you have some word with me on today? Yeah, I was uh, talking to you earlier today and, and you were calling in regards to my wife Barbara. Uh, you told me yes. Uh, this is about your Barbara, um, your wife name, Barbara. I'm sorry, I, I I forgot that because I have just pulled up your records and that's why I have seen your address. You have corrected your address. You have provided me your correct address. That is two six three eight A, right? Yes, you got my. You had my uh, had yeah, our yeah. address wrong. Yeah, I understand, sir. It is about your wife. I'm sorry for that. So the thing is that sir, uh, she is available right now. Uh, she's at work right now, and uh, and the job that she works at right now it keeps her super super busy, and she's not going to be home for at least another six hours. All right, all right. I'm sorry. So I'm just I, so I'm just acting on her behalf to try to you know to try do try to do some homework for her so that way she's she knows what to expect when she gets home. So this is about your personal income tax file. Yes, you mentioned that already. Yes, sir. And the thing is that uh, there is an audit done on her personal income tax file from the year 2007 to 2013. An audit from 2007 uh, to 2013, like an audit on her income tax returns. Yes, sir. The personal income tax. Uh, the audit has been done because uh, there is an order passed by the State Court of Justice. And that's the reason... An the order from the Supreme Court of Justice? Really? Yes, sir. State Court of Justice, sir. I told you, State Court of Justice. State Court of Justice, okay. All right. Uh, they have ordered to uh, audit some of the accounts which we have found suspicious because there are some miscalculations and some errors has been found on the past two to three years. So that's the reason there is a whole audit done on her personal income tax file for the last seven years. And uh, we found some errors and mathematical miscalculations. Oh, so I see. Reason, uh, yes, sir. That's the reason we have sent you a couple of reassessment letters, but uh, she did not respond back to the Revenue of Canada. And yeah, and, and I, I did. I did explain to you earlier today that no such letters have been received by us, so we had no way of of knowing. Sir, but uh, the thing is that uh, we do have the delivery reports as well that the letter has been successfully delivered at your doorstep. Oh, okay, because that seems kind of strange. Because my, like my wife and I are law-abiding citizens, and I'm sure that if, if there was if there was any issues of any kind re re pertaining to the income tax returns, I'm sure that my wife and I would have contacted you right away, because we take those matters very very seriously. It's not something that we would, uh, you know, we would just dis you know j just dismiss as not significant. Yeah, that's the reason we have tried to contact you, and uh, we have left a voicemail because I have seen her personal uh, income tax file that she never been arrested before and she don't have any kind of past criminal records right oh yeah of, of course of course she doesn't like i said she's a law abiding citizen and she's a, and she's a hard hard working person and and she does and she does her due diligence with everything whether it's at work or whether it's at home so that's why right, uh, that's why both of us are kind of at a loss as to what like how how this how this has all happened uh, mr brad do you have a pen and piece of paper with you uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, just give me one second here. Okay, just give me a second here. Just gotta find a, find a, a pen. Okay. So, um, okay, what did you need for me to write down? Sir, first of all, you can write it down the case file number. Okay, case file number. Number. Yes, sir. Okay, it is. The case file number is 160. 160. 4592. 4592. Yes, sir. And uh, on the next line, you can write it down the NCIC number. Okay, NCAC? N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, then I as in Indiana, then again C as in Charlie. NCIC. NCIC, okay. And the number is W as in William? W as in William. Then 395. 395. 
573. So W is in William, 395573. Yes, sir. And the case file number is 1604592. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm speaking with an Officer Miller, correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. And uh, now you can write it down, her arrest warrant ID number. Okay, arrest warrant. Warrant ID number. Arrest warrant ID number. Yes, and uh, the arrest warrant ID number is B as in Barbara, like her first name. Okay, B. And then V as in Vincent, like her, yeah, uh, yeah. Like her last name. Yeah. All right. Then A, B as in Alberta. Okay, A as in Alberta. Yes. Then 780. 780. 777. 777. And if you don't mind me asking, where would you be calling from specifically? Uh, if you're the Canada Revenue Agency, you'd be calling somewhere from the Ottawa area, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm calling you from Ottawa, Ontario, to West Ottawa, and uh, we are dealing with Criminal Investigation Division. It is a subdivision of Revenue of Canada, sir. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, if you don't mind me asking, do you have an address of where you're located at, in case we have to send anything to you by mail? Yes, yeah, so you can write it down our address. Yeah, okay. That is 333. 333. Laurier Avenue. How do you spell that, please? L-A-U-R. Yes? I-E-R, Laurier. Laurier Avenue. Yes. Okay, and that's Ottawa, Ontario. Postal yes. code, please. Yeah, you can write it down the postal code as well. Okay, uh, attention, super. Yes. Uh, okay, the po down, okay, and and the super uh, and uh, your, sorry, the postal code there at that mailing address is. Yes. Uh, I believe that you should, should be having. Uh, uh, actually, I don't, because like I said, we did not get any literature in the mail. All right, all right. Uh, just give me a second. Sure. Okay, so he's hung up on me. Okay. Come on. Uh, yes, is Officer Miller there, please? So, Officer Miller is busy right now. How may I help you? Uh, yes, I was just speaking to you there a second ago, and I got cut off there. Um, so, um, basically, I just wanted to just um, follow up again and... Go fuck yourself, you scammer! You fucking low life, you stay, you, you do not call here ever again. Go fuck yourself. Got him, baby. Got him.